a good song too. McDonald's again. Two classic chicken sandwiches off the three dollar menu acquired jump cut. Classic chicken sandwich for three bucks each. Exactly. Sandwiches in here. I thought she was with me. Are you fucking kidding me? What? English motherfucker, do you speak it? <laughs> Wanna split it? What do we do? I guess we'll just fucking cut it. I'm gonna be you in sure? a, I'm gonna be in a pissy mood this I whole fucking video. He's cutting it because they screwed up the order and we just don't want to deal with people today, so we're not going to. They screwed up the order and then I stuck around. Yeah. I wouldn't move until they until they acknowledged that they heard what I said that the right order and then they said they told them and then we got it and they just didn't. I yeah. don't know. You get what he's saying. All right, yeah, put yours on top of mine. Oh yeah, I forgot we're doing that thing. So this is their new three dollar sandwich. It's three dollars, so this is a dollar fifty if you know math. I don't, Corey, to tell me that off camera. You're a moron. Uh, it's got a pickle and some some different kind of sauce on it. This is the three dollar classic, which is funny that it's classic because it's new. How's it classic? That's not the classic sandwich. The right? McChicken's the classic sandwich. Yeah, it's very confusing. Build whatever meal you want with favorites on McDonald's new one two three dollar menu. Hey McDonald's, if you want to hire us for some like consulting work, we'll do it. Three dollars, one fifty each. Cheers. Yeah, no, I just hate eating this, so yeah, it's hard for me to tell. Also, the McChicken is a dollar. Why would you pay two more dollars for this? I don't know. So this sauce better have like some really expensive ingredient in it. it doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm sure it doesn't. No, different flavor profile than the McChicken because of the sauce. And McChickens don't have pickles, right? It's just mayonnaise and lettuce. I think so. McDonald's, you really pissed Corey off. It's gonna make for a really unfun video. Yeah. I blame you. I hate eight the shit out of that. Hate eight. Shout out to hate eight. It was garbage, as you would imagine. Do you like the term hate eight? I do. Hope it catches on. I was surprised. I didn't even know I said a phrase until I saw a bunch of comments. Oh, the played up bitch. That was so good. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't remember. I watched that video. I don't remember saying it even when I watched it. Played up, son. Played up. I don't think that's a real phrase. It should be. You should it start should saying it. Because a lot of times I'll watch it and I won't respond to all the comments till the next day. Uh huh. I don't even remember saying that even after I watched the video. I have to rewatch it and see when I said it. It also adds to the fact that we film so much. So sometimes you edit those and I'm, I'm like, yeah, that was like a week ago. I've already forgotten three of the things I've eaten, let alone the things I said in the video. I always forget everything in the video. Every time I watch it, it's like watching it fresh. I have no idea what's gonna be in there. I might have an inkling of like, oh, I think this was a good one. This one, I remember being fun. Yeah. Oh. I feel like the Jets pizza one was one of the best episodes we've had in a while. Oh, I didn't think that at all. I mean, with the response we got. We got oh. so many Patreons the day that went live. We got like five or six new Patreons. Mm. Mm. Which is so crazy to me. So wait. And that got picked up by Jets Pizza and it has like 6,000 views on Facebook alone, which is pretty cool. That's great. That's great. So analytics wise is one of the best ones. Yeah, that's what done. I should I should have. Gotcha. Uh, I think that it's one of the best we, traction right after. Some of the stuff oh, picked up later. Like this even, one right away like right. did well and had a bunch of response and so many people messaging us about stuff. It was crazy. That's great. Also, I don't know if you saw this, all the like local Jets Pizza started sharing it. Like in Tennessee, they were like asterisk, excuse the language in this video, but this is awesome. So what oh I think God. happened was the Jets Pizza National like agency maybe sent it out to all their branches and we're like, check this cool little thing out. Yeah. So Jets, that was great. <laughs> Even though this is a McDonald's video. And that turbo crust. Maybe we should make Jets like a monthly thing, come back and try a bunch of different like flavors and see what their best flavor is. Um, you know what? McDonald's doesn't even deserve our attention. I'm glad we talked about Jets. Yeah, that's a really good point. McDonald's. New month of Patreons. We give out 75 bucks every month to people who support us because we love them. Yeah. And right now we're gonna pick three names yep. to see who the three winners are. How exciting. Here we go, first winner. There's a lot of static when I was cutting these, so they might be stuck together. I well, couldn't get over how much static was on. They were sticking to the scissors, it was annoying. Juliet Hagel! Yeah! First $25 winner, Miss Juliet Hagel, who recently sent us a bunch of hot Dude, sauce. She's one of my favorite people. It's not fully because she's a Detroit Lions fan and like aggressive about it on Twitter, but it does help it's that help. she's a big Detroit Lions fan. Right. Second person. Second person. Come on, just get one. Get it, static. Uh, Lee Lawson. Lee Lawson. I remember when Lee Lawson donated. I, that's a great name. Lee Lawson. Yeah, I love it. Oh, well, I'd love to lick a lemon lollipop in Lilyhammer. Double L. There's so many other reasons to be uh, upset to know me. Bailey Medlin, yes! Some ballers are winning. Yeah, Bailey. Those are all people who I like, recognize because they comment all the time. Yeah, They're... Bailey. Yes! It's Bailey! 
on all the social media with us, I feel like. Dude, and also, doing? shout out, Bailey, I just saw a recent Instagram post of yours uh, from our number six Jesus account. She, like, lost, like, 100 pounds. Oh, good for her. She, like, is killing the weight loss game. So, Bailey, congratulations. Dude, uh, We'll boom. give you $25 to the restaurant you're using, even if it's Salad World, which is yeah. not a real place, but... We're really gonna ruin your diet here. <laughs> Um, so congrats, you will be getting a message from Corey via our Patreon account. Look out for that, and you can pick which place you want. Word. Now to the part that's gonna make you real depressed. Mm -hmm. Out of five, you're really gonna love this rating. Forgotten sandwiches. Dust has only How many forgotten sandwiches do you give the classic $3 chicken sandwich from McDonald's. Well, just about every inch of that whole experience was disappointing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, the list goes on so indefinitely, I just can't even begin to start it because it's too aggressive. Right. But the, it was, the chicken was boring. Boring. Great like, word. Yeah, it was. I don't know. Paying two bucks more for that? Give me the McChicken. That was just like a total pile of absolute trash in my opinion. I'm going to give it a 0. .5. Dude, that's what I... <laughs> Is that what you're gonna give it? Uh, yeah, for many reasons. And you're not even as mad as I am. I just get mad about, that is such a marketing bullshit ploy. Yeah. That is three times as expensive as a, a sandwich that's better than it. You literally came out with a chicken sandwich just to be like, they'll never know. <laughs> Guess what, bitch? We did know. Bend over just a little bit farther so we can stick this big advertising up your ass a little bit deeper. And they called it a classic, like you said before. Like, that's another big marketing douche move. Like, you can't, you're calling it a classic, obviously, just for the fucking, like, like, eyes on sandwich because right. it's new. It's not a classic. Yeah, and it was really small. I think it's smaller than a McChicken. At least in my head, so screw it. Uh, point five. Garbage sandwich, don't even think about getting it. That is one of the lowest scores we've given in just months and months and months and months. So congratulations. 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 But definitely watch tomorrow's because I got a good feeling. Triple cheeseburger? The triple cheeseburger, that sounds fun to me. And if it's bad, I mean, come on, it's just trip, ugh, ugh. Eat it, bitch, it's always good. You stuck around to the end, so you get to watch us open one fan package. In an edition of, we like to call, We Got The Go which will be way more entertaining than watching us eat that sandwich. Big ol' envelope. Oh, sweet. Huge envelope. Just doing an aggressive rip. Jeez, oh jeez. What is this? Oh jeez. Garbage, don't oh, care geez. about that. Oh, it's... Oh, whoa. <laughs> Bro, Fork Review needs to get hip to this. Is this from the Fork Review? Because... Oh, no, we got some sporks, though. Hi, Sean and Corey. Hello. Living large from Lisa Clank. Clank. Dude, Lisa has sent us so I'm much stuff. She's just you. such a baller, dude. Dude, and this is a great gift, man. Spork heaven. Check it out, guys. Sporks. Also, Fork Review, if you're watching this, don't be threatened. We're going to send you a picture of them so you can review it. Lisa, thank you so much. Lisa, everything you send is awesome. Also, only available from the king of sporks. What, look at this guy. What an amazing crown. He's wearing a like a spork crown. Dude, what an awful thing to be excited about. Like, you're the king of sporks? Who gives a sh? Gold jacket, green jacket, who gives a sh? Yeah. Oh. oh! Classic spork design that is made to last a lifetime, made of certified 18 by 10 stainless steel, 18 over 10, hand polished to a mirror-like finish and dishwasher safe. Great for children, adults, senior citizens, and the disabled made in China. Why don't you just say great for everyone? Well, hey, it's even good for disabled people. Yeah, geez, hey, Christ. do better with the box. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching yet again another episode of Number Six with Cheese. Once we get what we said tomorrow, triple cheeseburger, we're back, we're back, we're back. Sorry about that being depressing. This is